This is the sea level. Whatever is above the line we usually call land and whatever is below it we call the sea or ocean floor, which of course is covered with water. Here is a global elevation map of the Earth. It shows both altitude differences in the land and the depth of the oceans. However, it is a bit misleading because I use different color gradients for the land and the ocean. This is what it looks like when they are not separated. Due to the presence of very shallow waters in some areas, the world appears slightly different with more land becoming visible. But what if we completely inverted the Earth's elevation? The ocean floor would rise and the land would sink below the current sea level. The elevation map wouldn't look much different, only the colors would be inverted, depending of course on the color grading chosen to represent elevation. But things get really interesting when we start filling this inverted Earth with water. Let's do it! When the sea level reaches zero, 28.7% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, creating a map that closely resembles Earth as we know it, but with land and oceans completely inverted. But this is not what an inverted Earth would actually look like. The real Earth is covered by 71% of water, containing 1.335 billion cubic kilometers of it. So we have to keep going until we get closer to those numbers. And this is where I think we can stop the simulation. At 4300 meters above the current sea level, we establish the new sea level, covering approximately 75% of the inverted Earth with water. I could have stopped at the previous step, but I felt that getting closer to the total water volume rather than just the percentage would be a bit more accurate. However, the continents of the current Earth, which are now deep ocean floors, still dominate this map. So let's simplify it by removing elevation changes and focus only on separating land and water. Finally, let me adjust the longitude a bit. Here I think looks nice. So this is the final map of the inverted Earth. Apart from this large continent, the rest of the landmasses would be like Australia, a mix of continents and large islands. There would also be a small continent at the North Pole, likely similar to today's Antarctica. There would also be many large lakes, probably deep, and the coastlines of this inverted Earth would be more fjord-like. There are so many things one can talk about, honestly. I am curious to hear what do you find interesting about this map. But it would be a shame not to see how this inverted Earth looks on an actual sphere, so here it is. Actually, there is a huge ocean here where Africa and Eurasia currently are, and the continent on the North Pole is actually much, much smaller when not distorted by the 2D projection. Here is the large continent with its many inland seas and lakes, and the rest of the continents slash islands, which occupy a large part of the southern hemisphere. How would you name the new continents and oceans? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.